This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. I gotta, I gotta have some fun here. First of all, let me have some fun at the expense of my man Alan Poupart. Okay, and we love Alan Poupart. And we know Alan is uh, maybe a, a little too harsh on Tua at times, right, uh, overall. And so he's got an article, one of his articles there at alldolphins.com, which he does a, a marvelous job uh, at alldolphins.com and, and talking about all kinds of things. And one of the things that he talks about is the Tua conversation. And the headline reads, was Tua wrong to admit contemplating retirement? And I don't believe he ever contemplated retirement. I think he entertained it with his family. Let them talk about it. But he was never going to do it. And so, you know, in the article, he says, praise him for his honesty and transparency when the quarterback revealed that he momentarily, even for a brief instance, Considered retirement in the aftermath of his second concussion. He didn't consider retirement. He spoke to his family. And, you know, obviously they they had they wanted to have that conversation. Really, not him. The one that shut down his 22 season and kept him from participating for the Miami Dolphins pr- first playoff game. But that admission probably made his team of agents and marketers, and more importantly, the Miami Dolphin decision makers who have spent the past four seasons. Uh, I'm counting the tank for Tua 2019. Build this entire organization around them. Upside cringe. Why in the world might some suspect Tua possibly? Why the world might suspect Tua possibly consider hanging it up, walking away from the game, fearing the long-term effects of CTE and head trauma? You don't admit it, and he puts that in big capital letters. And so. And, and, you know, and it goes on the fact that Tua would confess that shows how different he is as a person and a human. And, and in the article, he talks, you know, and he, and he defends Tua and how he plays and all that stuff. But, you know, the, the, he brings up the comments from uh, Randy Mueller. And, you know, I don't know how the Dolphins can, you know, commit like Mueller. Tua saying he considered retirement. Can the Finns extend him? What happens if he's concussed again? I love the honesty and transparency of who Tua is. But now it's really complicated. No, it's not. You're just complicating it. And so is is uh, is Alan Poupart. And let me explain something to you. Okay, this is the bullshit that goes on with Tua Tungo Bailoa that drives me crazy. It's all these narratives that people build up. Okay, follow me on this one, Sean. Open up your mic here. So Tua should not talk about retirement. Oh, no, that's that's bad. Shouldn't talk about it. Shouldn't talk about it publicly. Shouldn't. Uh, no, because then we don't know how committed he is. You know, the guy that played four days later after a concussion, you know, the guy that kept playing after he was concussed in the Buffalo game. Yeah. You, you know, the guy that comes back from a hip injury nine months later, you don't know how committed he is. You, you think that guy looks like he wants to quit. OK, so now. So, Sean, Tua comes up to the podium, and they say, hey, um, did retirement ever come across? No, not at all. Why would I retire? What are you talking about? I don't need to. That's ridiculous. Why? Oh, Tua, you were concussed last year. Okay, so big deal. What, uh, so then what's the, what's the narrative after that? What, what, what is the media going right after that? Tua should retire. Exactly. Also, you forgot one thing. Like he can't win. Yeah. Well, no, but you forgot one thing, too, because he said in the thing yesterday, the other day, that if he was able to, if they would have came and asked him if he wanted to play a playoff game, he said, I would have played. I know that. No, I know what I'm saying, but that was if another example. Cut, if you cut his fucking leg off, he'll play in one leg. So if he doesn't say it, Oh, how irresponsible is that? Oh, he's married now. He's got a child. He's got to be more considerate. It's the same bullshit opposite, bro. Same bullshit. This guy will play with two fingers left on his hand. 
where can you question his commitment? He's maniacal about playing. There was no thought of retirement. Listen to his words. He just fed you the bullshit that he entertained the conversation. You know why? Because he can't win. Because if he says that he, no, why would I? Daniel Yafusi from the Miami Herald says, well, hey, did you uh, talk about, no. Why would I talk about retirement? And then all of a sudden, the media would be writing, it's not right that Tua's not talking about retirement or considering or discussing with his family. And this, They were already doing that when he was concussed. Oh, he should retire, this, that, whatever. The dude can't win. He can't win, dude. Ever. Because they're just going to spin it so they can get the clicks, get the hits, get the views, all that. Okay? And I got to use Allen as an, ex as an example of it, but it's the same BS on the opposite side of it. And if anybody would question it, including Randy Mueller, then, brother, you're not very good at reading the room. You're not very good at reading who you're covering, who you're talking about. I don't think you understand what Tua Tunga Bailoa is made of. I don't think you understand what kind of a what kind of a man that guy is. That guy's more committed than most of us are at anything that we do in our lives. You will not deter that man. Oh, I busted my ankle, no problem. Not only am I going to repair it, I'm going to repair it with Kevlar. No, I'm sorry, titanium. That's what it is. Titanium. Oh, you broke up your ankle. No problem. We're going to repair it like everybody else does, but then we're going to tie a titanium rod around it. Oh, you busted the other one. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's put the titanium rod. Oh, you busted your hip. No, nope, your career is over. No, it's not, dude. I'm going to, I'll be ready to work out for you. And, and when, when, yeah, no, of course, this guy's not committed. Most of us, after we bust our hip, yeah, no, nah, football's great, but I'm done, bro. I'm done. Look at look at Andrew Luck. I'm tired of injury rehab. No, injury pain rehab. Injury pain rehab. Injury pain rehab. He quit. That guy ain't quitting. That guy was never talking about. You think a guy that comes back from a hip injury in nine months to play and get slammed by Michael Brockers think thinks of retirement? You're an idiot. You think a guy that was concussed in that Buffalo game, even though they didn't count it, and his legs got wobbly, and, you know, and then he came back and kicked ass in the second half, you think that guy's quitting? And then plays four days later with the Bengals? You think that guy's quitting? Come on, man. You think that, that guy never contemplated retirement? Never thought about it? Only the media thinks about it. And then only the media can spin the conversation of retirement into a negative thing. The thing that they want. It's, a, it's the biggest load of shit that continues to happen. And that kid can't win. Because everything is going to be spun whatever way they need to spin it so they can add drama to it and sensationalize it. 